Hey man, what's happening? Cool Water, the digital dope man from ishiphopdead.com and the digital dope man.com here on the Barroom Chats podcast where we discuss topics in the area of entertainment, politics, culture, business, health, and education. I wanted to jump on the mic real quick. <clears throat> To talk about some of the things that I'm noticing that's going on as this pan-emic, we'll 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 say that pan-emic and the Rona continues to grow in popularity, and this is directed to everybody, but specifically Black America because I'm part of that culture. I'm in my feelings a bit because I'm seeing that a lot of people, man, are not using common sense and not thinking critically and analytically about the situation. Hence the reason that they're getting emotional about what is supposed to on go or come of age as a Friday. Many of you probably have not heard that the three states that will be opening as a Friday with a soft reopening for the economy is Georgia, Tennessee, and South Carolina. Now, South Carolina is not a major economic hub. Tennessee, not necessarily either, but they run second. But everybody knows that Atlanta is the place to be. That's where the entertainers are. That's where the celebrities are. This is where the football is. This is where the soccer is. This is where the hockey is. This is where we got a black governor named, I'm sorry, a black mayor named Keisha. So once again, the rest of the country is watching the South. And those individuals that are in other cities like New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, South Central, Houston, Texas, Miami, uh, New York, Washington, D.C., Maryland, Baltimore, Detroit, um, hell, even other states in the South are really watching Atlanta as the flagship state that will determine what goes on with the rest of the country. So everybody's saying, hey, you all are some idiots because you should not be reopening. The governor of the state of Georgia, as one girl put it, must have got the job through attempt service and the president as well. And I say, yup, she has a a valid, you know, makes a valid statement because on the surface, people want to make sure that the clear, that it's all clear before they step out into a normal, active environment and society. But in the same sentence, a lot of these people are not digging deep, in my personal opinion, to go and do the necessary research to understand that it may not be as bad as they say it is based on the media's calculations. We know that there are individuals dying. So let's make sure we're clear because we got people, man, who, again, they don't think. We know that there are individuals dying. We know that there are individuals who are getting sick. And have gotten sick from something. And it could be the coronavirus. Or it could be pre-existing conditions copulated or or, uh, added on on top of fear, stress, depression, and things of that nature. My grandmother has circadosis, which affects the lungs. So there's times that she is breathing rather unsystematically if you will and if she was to die 
Would we say that that was COVID-19? Or would we say that she died because the sarcoidosis had resurfaced and had been ongoing for a number of years in her system at the age of 91? Now, according to the underground, the front line, the people that are on the front line, a lot of these DOCs, DOCSs, docs, have came out from behind the square and they're saying that a lot of this information is not accurate, that they are being told to add individuals who are dying to put the 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 the, the rona or the covid on their death certificate which hints gives you the reason to believe that numbers are astronomically higher than they may be then there's the thing of everybody's on the respirator everybody's on the respirator and they it got to be the it got to be the, the rona so I would like to question that. What is it that led to them getting on the respirator? Was it a self-induced act of ignorance that on their part that they got sick as a result of doing something like being overstressed, overworked, uh, having allergies, having some form of pre-existing condition? Or was it something that the doctor who supposedly examined them automatically offered the family with the family not taking into consideration that they may not need a respirator? I want, I want us to begin to think critically. I want us to turn up the, uh, uh, the shit upside down and actually look at the bigger picture. This is not to say that no one needs a respirator, not to say that no one is not respirator worthy. But like a friend of mine said last night, who has kidney failure and goes in for dialysis, I got one foot in the grave already. Well, if she knows that and something happens when she gets sick, are we labeling that a a a a a a a, a rona situation a covid situation or do we say that her kidney failure was the real reasoning for her demise over the years that that progressed and that the dialysis no longer was effective in her treatment do we put that into the pot or do we say, oh, man, she died from the Rona. See, we got to do some real looking into what's going on here. We waiting on the government to come up with some form of vaccination <clears throat> to help you. Some form of medication. But we, most of us, urban America, Africans from the global diaspora and from the American continent, and in and, and, and Central America, South America, and the adjoining islands, know that most of what we have been given by the uh, ruling class never really helps to benefit us in its entirety. Hence the reason God gave us the, 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 the method. He gave us the methodology. When he put the melanin in the skin, when he made us darker than everybody else, when he made us understand that the earth was your was was your was your remedy to any problem that you acquired in life. See, most people not, not not taking that. They're not doing any homework. They're not understanding that the 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 the, the game uh or the or the, should I say the 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 necessary uh solutions to some of these problems is right in your backyard or on the tree or right down the street at your local herbal store you don't go that far though but you you're you're looking for a solution you're looking for someone to give you the the, the problem 
So here urban America now has become the target. See, it started out a global pandemic in the Eastern hemisphere of the planet. Hence Asia, Italy, Spain, Greece, Dutch, uh, China, Japan, Australia, and in Africa, they didn't, they didn't even get to Africa. Well, they didn't even report on it as, 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 as of late, that early in the game, back two months ago. Then it slides over here to the Americas. Then the American population starts to get it. New York was the first to get hit. They got people dying by the boatloads. It's three, four, five, six, seven hundred people they're saying are dying a day. So hence it goes from New York to other places, California. Then it starts to get to the southern states, the eastern border, Chicago, Michigan. Then it's now we need to lock it down so we can gain control. Okay, y'all did that. We're doing that. Now all of a sudden... It's a problem. Now it becomes going from a problem from the, the global population at large to now it's an African, African-American problem. Now it's African problem and an African-American problem, a black folks problem, because we quote unquote are the most socially irresponsible according to the news, according to other demographics, other cultures, other people who are saying we're out being socially irresponsible by not being in the house, by not wearing a mask, by not wearing gloves. Now, we're the issue. But at the end of the day, most most of you Negroes and other people alike have not done the research on germ warfare, biological warfare. You always the target. You always the target. Give a damn if you staying in the house or not. You mean the house all you want to. You the target. You the target. Hence the reason they want to get them census done. So they can document the number of deaths and then they'll put those deaths on the black population as a global problem. A domestic problem. Black folks always going to be the, 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 the catalyst for the problem. Hence, we don't have an economy. Hence, we don't have any grocery store. Hence, we don't have hospitals. We don't have medical facilities and clinics to do what? Solve our problem. So you waiting on somebody to feed you because you got to. You ain't no somebody to let you come in their banks because you got to. You ain't no somebody to let you go to the hospital because you got to. See? But when we talk like this, you Negroes and others alike, y'all get offended. Y'all get offended. You get upset. You get in your feelings because you want somebody to see it your way. You want somebody to understand that on the surface level, it's the respirator. On the surface level, it's the cova. On the surface level, it's the Rona. Not incorporating any of these other uh, illnesses that are out here. The flu ain't went nowhere. The pneumonia ain't went nowhere. Do you understand what I'm saying? They still active and, uh, and working too. So why have we forgotten that there are other illnesses? Hell, allergy. I got allergies. I'm liable to be wheezing. I'm liable to be coughing. I have been coughing, but it ain't got nothing to do with the Rona. See, we're not thinking. They saying people are dying. Okay, well, let's examine that. The trauma that's being inflicted on families, white, black, Asian, whatever. The trauma that's being inflicted on families across the globe who can't be there when they loved ones are dying. That's mental trauma, emotional trauma. You gotta pull up and just bury? You gotta pull up and just bury? You wasn't there to hold his or her hand as they was dying? They won't let you come in the hospital because it's a so-called bigger issue because this is supposed to be a major global and domestic pandemic. And then you got to come get the body and make funeral arrangements and you only can have 10 people. 
what game are we playing here? Who's narrating the script? Why did the WHO get offended when Trump cut off the money that they felt the need that they needed to raise money by impeding on my television time? And, 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 and all these entertainers and celebrities are singing now. You mean to tell me that these folks, the WHO, who's been here and been operating from damn near since the, the 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s, don't have a financial reserve? They don't have a financial reserve? Or, and, 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 am, I, am I hearing this? So Bill, so Bill, Bill G, he wanted him and his old lady want to put 250 million in their pocket so they can continue doing the vax so they can poke you with the needle and put something in your system that's mixed with animal and, and, and aluminum and mercury and all the other illogical uh, substances that you put in the body. That destroys the immune system's ability to stop the, the Rona? Come on, man. What game are we playing? I'm going to need you Negroes to start thinking. So now you upset because what? Governor did open up the population. He's opening up the, the, the businesses. Some of the businesses. What well, common sense will say shit. Okay. You know you can't roll, you can't be out there heavy like that, and the economy ain't open up heavy enough for nobody to be worried about it. You move like you've been moving. You go to the grocery store, you go, you can't go into the banks yet. You do your little simple, you go back to the crib. See, a lot of y'all be talking tough because your money's still okay. See, your money is still flowing. So you get your little checks. So you can sit on the porch and talk all that jazz. But it's not. Cool for the lady who's sitting over here and she got four kids and she ain't got no money. Food stamps ain't being administered like that overnight. The twelve hundred dollar checks ain't coming through the through the pipeline ASAP. There's been some that have got them, but there's still many that have not. Small business owners and self and the self employed, they money didn't got fucked over. Them folks didn't took that bread. And they didn't, they didn't, they didn't messed up already. So now they have to reissue another 400 and some billion to save the small business owner who, and by some aspects, they have a staff of employees that they caring for and they paying for their health care. But you want people to stay in the house so they can toodle their thumbs and play the Ouija board and checkers and chess. When the, when the mortgage is due on the 1st or the 15th and there's no money coming in. But now you're telling everybody y'all got to get creative. Call me. Call you and do what? The average person is not going to be able to turn a profit in 30 days. That's going to be substantial enough to, 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 to uh, 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 keep your quality of life stable. So you got emotional stress now. You got mental stress. So here comes you going to the hospital because you emotionally and mentally disturbed. You and, your, you and your feelings and all of that turns around and creates toxicity for the body, which causes your body to become acidic, which causes the acidity to give you a disease. Hence, your heart shutting down. Hence, your lungs ain't pump, pumping, pumping properly. Your kidneys is malfunctioning. Now you coughing. Because the, the, the uh, 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 pollen is up. But they telling you, you need the respirator. Cause, so you, you know, now they, oh, you got the Rona. What game are we playing? Listen here, man. I love each and every one of y'all. Because I love y'all because y'all my family, whether you white or black. But I'm not finna play with you motherfuckers. I'm not playing with y'all, okay? Sometimes you're going to have to use your common sense. And use what God gave you in order for you to solve your own problems. Straight up. Stop waiting on these people to give you a pill. YouTube got enough information on there. You can figure it out. You can look up some doctors who actually are certified, real, bona fide doctors. And see what solutions you can come up with for the Rona. Hence, I put something up on my page that I got from one of the brothers who I know been in the trenches for over 40 years. 
And I can tell you when I did do the steam, when I did do the steam, it started pulling that mucus out of me. My lungs opened up. I feel like a million bucks. So I know I got to keep doing it so I can do what? Keep my blood purified. Keep my, keep my, uh, keep my, my system straight and, 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 and begin to, to, you know, fight, fight them issues that, that the Rona might actually come with. That the Rona might actually come with. Don't be no dummy. We know it's a, 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 a situation going on. Ain't nobody bulletproof. But at the same time, use common sense. You know the economy ain't thorough right now. Okay, so you go do your necessary deed like you've been doing, and then you take it back to the crib till you get real comfortable. But all this crying and mad because the cause cause the governors didn't open up the economy, they got to do it because the economy is trickling on bankruptcy. And none of you Negroes. And other folks alike can handle a bankrupt economy, which means they can't pay you that little home, uh, uh, working from home check that you're getting because of it. You did. The economics don't support you staying in the house and then there's no money being circulated. Because if the people you work for do not have a reserve or do not have finance to pay you, guess what? Now you in the soup line. Then you ain't going to have much to say. Then it's going to be, oh, you need to do something about this. Hey, man, I'm Cool Water, the digital dope man. Check me out at the blog, ishiphopdead.com. Look for me at the, do- uh, the at the home base site, the digitaldopeman.com. You did. Look, the game ain't going to get no better. You're going to have to become creative, innovative, and you want to keep your nose in them books, something that most of y'all don't like to do. Real talk. And you're going to have to study so you can solve your own problems. Peace and stay blessed, man. Holla.